are tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Well, what do we have here, guys? Same story, different day in the world of well, sports. Men coming over into women's sports, identifying as women and dominating the women. These men that do this, man, they are cowards. And I said it before, I'm going to say it again. For the most part, these men identifying as women, they were mediocre when they were competing against the men. They couldn't cut the mustard. But hey, let's go over here and uh, beat up on some women to make us feel good. Yeah, this this insanity, man, is not stopping. It may actually be slowing because of uh, legislation and stuff like that. But we have to see, man. But for the most part, this stuff has really, really been out of control for the past two, three years. I mean, ever since, you know, the lockdowns and everything, there has been an uptick in this stuff, man. The left has been all in on getting men to emasculate themselves to identify as women. And who are the victims in this? Actual women. Yeah, their space is getting invaded. I actually saw a, um, a video yesterday. I almost started to make a video on this. And um, it was actually this uh, trans student in a girl's restroom. Yeah, this is a boy. Went to a stall and started beating up on this female. Dragged her out. It was ugly. This is the kind of world we're living in, guys. But we're actually going to be talking about um, someone that we've actually talked about before. Now, this individual is now being known as uh, Sadie Schreiner. I don't remember their name when they were identifying as a boy because this is actually a boy, by the way. Not necessarily identifying as a boy. This is a boy that is identifying as a female. Now, back in, um, I believe, January or February, this guy smashed two records for women's track. However, this person, if they actually competed on the men's side where he actually should be, this person would be like close to last. Yeah, but it happened again, guys. Same person, man. Different day. Track and field. This person finished first in both the women's 200 and 400 meters. Yeah, Riley Gaines actually um, brought attention to this uh, yesterday because this is when the um, the track and field event actually happened. So let's go ahead and get into it. Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe to the channel, become a channel member, member live stream every single Friday at 10 a.m. Central Standard Time. We appreciate the support. So here we go. The Liberty League Outdoor Track and field championships. Look who is number one. Sadie Schreiner. A male identifying as a female. Number one in the uh, women's 200 meter finals. It's happening still, man. It is happening still. Now, Riley Gaines put this out right here. Uh, Sadie Schreiner, male competing with the women. Won the women's 200 and 400 meter today at the uh, Liberty League Championship meet. He broke the uh, 400 meter women's record in the process. But check this out. He would have finished last among the other boys by a full two seconds. Yeah, this is pretty disgusting right here, man. That is um a male right there on the podium. Number one, the other women, actually real winner right here is um the person on number two. This is shameful, man. This is really, really shameful. And we got video too. Yeah, look at this here. I mean, think of this. This, this dude like, seems like he barely beat the females. 
This is shameful. But this person doesn't seem to have any shame whatsoever. And you could thank your politicians too, man. Look at this here. Right here. Not one single Democrat voted to protect women's rights. The ban transgender athletes and girls sports. You had 219 Republicans vote uh, yay. 203 Democrats voted nay. Because they want the men to dominate women's sports. It is really crazy, man. Really crazy. Now, back over here, since I actually had this uh, pulled up, this was uh, Riley Gaines' post from January 29th. Same person, by the way. The thing that never happens, this is what she posted, happened again. Male Sadie Camden. Okay, Camden is um is his birth name. A Shriner. Broke two more women's collegiate records. Wow. Women's records mean nothing if they're set by men. It keeps happening, man. It keeps happening. Uh, right here from February 10th, Riley Gaines. Sadie Camden Shriner's time in the 200 meter makes him the third fastest Division three collegiate runner in the nation in the women's category. For perspective, this time ranks him 1,619th in his rightful category of the men's division. Wow. 1619th greater than third. But no. Yeah, men can totally become women. This is insane, man. This is insane, man. A person that would finish like over 1,600 or dead last wins against the women. But we're told, hey, biology doesn't really mean nothing, right? Doesn't really mean nothing. This is just unbelievable, man. Unbelievable. A mediocre man. Is dominating the women. But hey man. Women. What are you going to do about it man? What are you going to do about it. To stop this madness. It happened again. Just like in February it happened. Just like in January it happened. Just like it's been happening for years now. I'm not surprised at this point man. You got you to gotta fight man. You got to fight or. This will not stop. It needs to end. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to the channel. And we will catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.